Okay, so factors and multiples in fourth grade, what's the difference? How do I distinguish the difference with my students? If you've got those questions spiraling around in your brain, then this is the episode for you. We're gonna break it down right now. Hey everyone, my name is Sarah, but a lot of third, fourth, and fifth graders know me as Miss McCarthy. Well, I create a ton of math video lessons and resources for students in grades three, four, and five, I thought it might be a good idea to start making some videos for you, for the parents, the teachers, the tutors, basically anybody looking to support a third, fourth, or fifth grader to make math make sense. So let's go ahead and get to it, okay? So to review, we've got factors and we have multiples. What we're gonna do for this example in this video today is we are going to find the factors and the multiples of eight. Okay, now for factors, factor ring, I want you to think of a factor rainbow. And for multiples, I want you to think skip counting. Okay, so factors, think of the factor rainbow. And you might be like, what's a factor rainbow? I'm gonna show you, just hang on a second. And then multiples is skip counting. Like if we were going to skip count by fives, we would go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, right? Okay, so factor, rainbow multiples skip counting. So what are the factors of eight? I love factoring. So what we're gonna do is put eight on top of our rainbow, okay? And we're gonna start with the number, or the factor, I'm sorry, the factor one. One times what equals eight? Eight, right? So one times eight equals eight. Now let's try to see if we can find any more. Let's see. So eight is even, which means that we should be able to count by twos, right? Let's count by twos until we get to eight. So two, four, six, eight, that works. Two times four equals eight. So we have one, two, one, two, three. Let's try threes three, six, nine, it goes over the eight. So three does not work. And then our next number, our next factor would be four. So there's nothing else that we could have. One, two, we tried three, and then we get to four on that side. So we've closed up our factor rainbow, which means the factors are one, two, four, and eight. Okay. Oh. There you go. All right, now let's try finding the multiples of eight. Remember, multiples are when we're skip counting by the number. We did a little bit of skip counting here to get to the number, but now we're gonna skip count by the number. So let's count by eights. We'll just put the first, um, I don't know, five down just so you can see the pattern going on there. So we have, the first one would be eight, okay? and then eight times two is 16, or plus eight would be 24. So eight times one is eight. Eight times two is 16. Eight times three is 24. Eight times four is 32. And eight times five is 40. And each time we're also adding eight. Party rocking with the eights for sure. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. See, gets you there. All right, so that's the difference between factoring and skip counting, but I do wanna go back to the factoring part real quick. Because we had more than one strand of the rainbow here, that makes this eight composite. Eight is composite. The, if it's not a composite number, it means that it's prime. And an example of a prime number would be like the number seven because the factor seven, or the seven only has the factors one and seven. You see how we only get one strand of the rainbow? It only has a factor of one in itself. That makes it prime, okay? So those are some things that they have to learn this year. All right, so that wraps it up for this episode, the difference between finding the factors of a number and finding the multiples of a number. Again, factors, we think factor rainbow. Multiples, we are skip 
counting by that number. And we also reviewed what prime and composite numbers are. Now, if you need some more practice on my website at McCarthyMathAcademy.com, um, you can sign up for a free trial of McCarthy Math 155. And I have a lot of videos there on factoring, finding the multiples, prime versus composite numbers, all of that. Now, those are intended for students, so they're a little bit more bubblier and exciting and all that. Um, but if you do have a specific skill that you would like for me to work on in an upcoming episode, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. You can also email me at McCarthyMathAcademy at gmail.com, or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook at McCarthyMathAcademy. Don't worry, all the links that I just threw at you are also in the description box below. So just find out your best way to receive that information and click that and you can learn more. All right, before we go, remember that you were born for a reason. You matter and what you choose to do with your life matters. So go out there and change that world in your own special way. And I will see you next time on the next episode of Math 345 Support. Bye-bye.